I can't see if you're recording or not. Hang on. I think not yet. Right. <clears throat> I'm going to go in this parrot. I've got the colours here. So I'm going to start with the black bits. So this is a new pen, so I've got to get started first. Hope it works. This is Deco Colour Black. Let's see if it's going to work. There it goes. Right, okay, so he's got the black eye. Okay. And then he's got black bit, bits around his beak. This is all these lines. So I'm just going to colour all the lines in. Excuse my throat. I've suffered with the. Uh, I think it was flu. I'm starting to get over it. Thank God. Don't like being ill. Okay, so. Move all these little bits of lines. I'm not bothered if they don't go on very well. do not want it in there now this will be black anyway so I'm not going to bother with that bit um, I think that's all that's black to a certain degree with this I'm going to do the uh, flower bits black If I can, I don't know if that's going on or not. I think it is. The light's in a funny position. I'm just going to dot it on like that, see what happens. Okay, so then for the rest of it, I've got a white mica. This is a cheap, cheap one off of um, Amazon or eBay, one of the two. All I'm going to do is do his beak. Now I know I've got extras, extra powder, so it's found his eyes that's white as well, so I'll just nick the powder so I don't have to put more powder in it. And I didn't do all the little lines, oh well, never mind. The picture I've got, he hasn't got lines. I've probably, probably got the wrong bird, wrong parrot. I'll tell you now, these are only cheap micas, but they're really good little ones. I've had these for two years now, and I do use them. Don't always use um. Well, no. What I've got basically in my drawer, of micas and things, is what I've had for two years. I haven't bought anything like that for a long, 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 long time. Okay. So that's that. Now. He's got to have like a yellowy tinge. So it's going to be here, the tinge. Don't mind if it goes over slightly. I 
must admit, I do enjoy making things look different and not just go, oh, I'll put a colour in here, I'll put a colour in there. This makes it look different. It makes it hand, hand uh, created. I won't say design because it's not exactly designed, is it, by me? I'm not sure exactly where the flowers are meant to be there, so I'm just going to whack it on. You know me. You don't know where it goes, just whack it on. I want the flowers to be yellow. I don't know if this is the right colour, I don't even know what this flower is exactly. I'm just making it yellow. No me, it's probably totally wrong, but who knows. Somebody who knows about flowers will. Okay, so I'm getting it all here as well. Flinging, which I didn't want. I have to go over it with a um, cotton bud, get rid of it, or baby wipe. The last thing you want is the powder to fling everywhere because it just will sit there and in the end you'll have like um cream leaf or something or like he's he's going to be red so he's going to have yellow in him as well but i suppose it doesn't matter because he is a parrot they have to have different colors don't they Never seen this mould being done before, so I hope whoever made it, I do it justice. This lovely little mould comes puppy dog down the stairs, chonky chonk 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 chonk. That is a leaf, a flower leaf. I think that is as well. Some of these are hard because there's so much detail in them. They're actually hard to work out. And that's part of a flower leaf as well there. That bit. Because there's so much detail in some of them, it is very, very hard to um, make sure you've got all the right bits. Just keep checking my phone because I know I've got very little battery. It's on charge while it's actually working, which isn't a good thing. Never mind. Okay, 
So where's my cotton buds? <sighs> Bud. with a bit of alcohol wet your cotton bud if you can my alcohol can be run out and just clean it up a little bit as I said I'm not that bothered because birds are a different colour they got lots of different colours to them, so I'm not that bothered. I would do. Okay, so that's the flowers. Now his beak. Now I must admit I've done the whole beak white, whereas in the picture. It's only a bit of it black and the rest of it white. But I don't care. I'm doing it this way.
Holly resin. I didn't use the um, turbo. I've gone back to the Tea Expert. Um, I've got a couple of bottles of little bottles of them. This is what I, actually what I started out on this resin, and never had problems with it. It was just the fact that I was never patient enough to wait for it to warm up for me to even try and do the um, flower coasters and whatnot. It's one thing I've never really been able to do. I try every now and again, as you might have seen in one or two of my videos, I can't remember, and I just fail every time. So now I don't really bother. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I don't want colour in it. I just want glitter. So this, this is actually embossing glitter. I think it's got one of the best shimmers to it. So I'm just going to add three scoops, big scoops of that. And then this one, I'm not sure exactly what it's called because I just buy it off the internet and I'm going to put three massive scoops of that. Let's see how glittery this turns out. Let's give it a stir. Ah, silver gets lost in with the green by the looks of it. matter oh that looks lovely <laughs> okay let's get what I can off of the stick and I'm gonna pour very slowly in the middle from a bit of a height because for the simple fact where this has got so many little nooks and crannies and this is quite a thick resin considering it's a one-to-one -one, and they do it as in um, volume not in weight and I just want it to roll over so it gradually fills all the holes up. Give it a turn because it seems to be going one way for some reason. I don't know if you can see the glitter. This is just beautiful. Oops. Have a look. Can you see that glitter? Oh, it's lovely. Really shiny. Oh, that's me not looking. <laughs> I can see something down before by my side. Give that a chance to move it around a bit.
So it only takes this time to get to this bit. This is the best way to do it because then you don't get the bubbles because there's so many little bits, little holes and things. This way it's just moving itself over all the little bits. Give it a top up. you go done I've got some left so I'll get my little rose out all right it's getting a bit old my rose so should do that with all of them and I keep forgetting and I shall just fill my little rose up Getting a collection of these little roses, eventually I will make something with them. Don't know what. For some reason. For some reason it's coming over. Cut. table that's not quite level definitely not level either that or me moulds not coming over the side again look <clears throat> what's the problem with some of these these molds they're lovely little molds but sometimes they're not quite level I don't think it's the table thing because I actually put a thingy on there to check it okay so we've got some more still so we will put some more in these. Can't see what I'm doing.
Oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Looks like I've got enough to do the whole set. No, no, no. She's got nothing to soak. She's going to see if she can get some loving from her meek nephew. <clears throat> there you go so now I've just got to let this cure give it a quick spritz get out whatever that is in there don't know what that is, don't like it don't like it, don't want it in there that's it Yes, again, one messy Sandra's moulding, uh, resin moulding, thicko. What I might even do, no, I won't. I was going to put some of that straight in as a blob, but I won't. No, that would ruin it. Okay, so I think... Yeah, because it was only this I made up. So that is basically it from me. Put that little bit back in there. She'll go and clean up. And I shall wait to see what happens. That looks like bubbles. But it's not. Don't know what that is then. Oh, it's still going over that bit, look. Don't know. Don't know. Just have to break that bit off. Because it keeps on going back over it. Anyway, there you go. I shall see you soon. Bye. Oh, yeah. This is all done. Right, okay, I'm going to start with the little one first, not the major one. 
my little rose. I must admit my poor old mould's getting a bit... Oh, I like that. That's pretty. I like that a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Let's get these out. These are just little keychains or they've got um, star signs on them. So these are pretty. What I will do with these is I've got some red ones, a few red ones somewhere, and I will eventually. Um, oh, what noise it goes a bit weird. I will um, put black or white or something over it so you can see the proper signs and everything. But this is the main one. This is the one I want to see. So let's have a look. There's some overspill, like I thought. It's still a bit soft, actually. Too eager. Too eager to see things. Right, so there's the mould. Shall we have a look? Ready? Oh, wow. <laughs> Once all these edges have come off. And I think I will do a flood coat to make sure that basically it shines. It should, it might, no, it won't. You'll still see the dindents, I hope. I don't know. Don't usually do flood coats because <laughs> I usually ruin them. <laughs> but I'll wait for this to dry a little bit more because as you can see, it's still quite soft. So I'll wait for it to dry a bit more. And then I'll coat the back with liquid latex and just put a little coating of resin over the top. So I like that. He's cute. He is so cute. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. I'll move that lot. Thank you for watching. And uh, thank you to all the subscribers. You've really made me happy. You know, the amount of people that keep subscribing. And I'm like, just blown away with it. Uh, anyway, thank you very much. Please subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment. Bye. Hiya. Hey, uh, your parrot. Ignore these. Right, your parrot. I've got a bit of resin here made up. And I've just put it on a, my little toolbox. Because it's still a bit, little bit flexible. And what I'm going to do is very carefully just drizzle some of this over. So it'll find its way to the edges, hoping. I'm not going to go mad because every time I top coat, I ruin it and I really don't want to ruin this one. I like this one. Just remember, when you're top coating, resin will only go where resin goes. But if you let it drip over the side, the resin will start flowing over the side. Which I don't want it to do. I'll give it one more. Yeah. Sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. She's attacking her lion. <coughs> oh, now she's heard somebody go past. I love my dog. Right. I've just got a stick. And all I'm doing is very carefully pushing it to the edge and I'm sort of like wiping the edge at the same time so hopefully it won't go over I'm really hoping 
because I haven't protected the back. And I haven't protected my box. <laughs> so if that gets if that gets um resin, that's it. I can't get into my little tools for my little um drill thing. Thank you for all love. The good thing is you can still see the feathers, you can still see the 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 leaves and things like that you just haven't got the texture to it admittedly but that's fine i don't mind that right i could do with a little bit more resin because it's not quite getting there to the ends don't want to use too much because I've got this resin for another project. Let's see how that goes. I'm sure that was a hair I saw. Right, I think that's about it. I think if I put too much more on, it's going to overflow. And then so now I can see dips. I hate it when I see them. Little divots. That's looking better. Right. I'm basically leaning down so I can see through where my window is. That's it. Oh no! It's dripped over. Damn. Right where the lock is. Oh god. I think. Oh, kitty aunt. Why is it? I can never do something. Look, it's gone on that bit as well. And this board is supposed to be um, level. Who's that? <sighs> Here it goes. Drip, drip, drip. I don't want you to drip. Stop dripping. A 
be here all day doing this. <laughs> until, it's, until it decides it's not going to do it no more. That was alcohol, by the way, that I sprayed on the table, on the card. Oh, God, come on, stop. I know. Let me get my different tissue. That helps. I think I overfilled it, people. <laughs> right. Hopefully, hopefully. It will stop. Can't have that much more extra on there. Pick it up like that for a minute. Is it going somewhere else as well? Run that way. Right. I'm going to leave it over the side, out of the way, oh, and hopefully it stops. <laughs> Hello everybody, right, now, oh, it did come off, thank God for that, <laughs> that's alright then, and I can still open my box, oh no, <laughs> I can still open my box, so I haven't ruined my box, thank God. <laughs> But I've done that. I've got oh look, it's gone under. Oh, I do this every time. It's got a knob there. I'm gonna have to give that a file down. I should have protected the back. Even the front's not that brilliant. It's got pit holes, it's missed that little bit because it all ran off here. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to sort that one out. I'm going to have to rename my channel Sandra or Tiger Moth the Beep Ups. <laughs> That's a shame because I love that little coaster. But I will sort that one out for definite. I do love that coaster. I think it's turned out beautifully. Anyway, <laughs> bye.